Okay, hon. So, so, so... Settlement squatters. Ah. How you identify? Is that a delusion too? Tanya, I'm gonna ca start calling you him. Are you cool with that? Is that okay? I, I, I'm going to decide who you are and I'm going to impose it upon you. And not just that, I'm going to oppress and ridicule and limit who you get to be, how you're going to dress. You can no longer dress in feminine clothing at all. No more makeup for you, Tanya. That's just not in the cars. That's a delusion. It's your delusion. And I'm going to step in and solve it. Or, and I'm just spitballing here, maybe we let people identify with who they are and just respect. Okay. So nobody is stopping you from dressing the way you want or, or even calling yourself what you want. We just refuse to participate and nobody actually cares. If you, if you called me a her, I, I couldn't care less. I really wouldn't because I'm not fragile. I've got more important things to worry about. And also, I know what I am. I'm not like identifying as a man. I just am a man. I want to let you know what's going on in our state in regards to LGBT policy. We're getting new information from the state level, from Governor Yunkin, that we have to amend our policies to align with his new plan to try to give parents more rights in education. And that sounds nice, but it's ultimately going to hurt kids because it's going to cause educators to not be able to use the correct name and pronoun that students are. Are telling us to use. It's going to require us to go to parents to get uh, approval before we can use the correct pronouns. And that's really going to hurt kids in unsupportive families. We also have to amend our policies to no longer allow students to play sports or go to the bathroom with their gender and instead go to the one that matches their gender at birth. So keep watching what's going on in Virginia. We're fighting. Yeah, so she's basically worried talking about how this is going to hurt kids. No, it's protecting kids from people like her. What she really means is it's going to hurt her and her weird friends because they're no longer going to be able to corrupt kids. KFC, shame on you! KFC, shame on you! KFC, shame on you! Stop supporting genocide! Stop supporting genocide! Boycott, boycott Israel! Boycott, boycott Israel! Boycott, boycott KFC! Boycott, boycott KFC! Boycott, boycott Israel! Boycott, boycott Israel! Boycott, boycott KFC! Boycott, boycott KFC! Nadine, thank you very much for the gift. Nadine, thank you. You can support Israel. We are just here today to boycott KFC. KFC is supporting Israel. Activism is basically a way for completely useless people to feel important. If you got some of these people up, I'd say unemployed with just too much time on their hands. Completely useless for society. You useless dossers! What kind of things like make you not necessarily as proud to be American? Assimilation of a lot of cultures. Like there's a um, food truck that I got a burrito from and I got salsa and it was like tomato juice. And so I was like, okay, how are y'all gonna like use someone's culture and then like appropriate it? Said the man appropriating women. Ah. And I say this because the climate crisis is not toxic. The climate crisis is not a result of natural disasters. It's actually a man-made crisis. And Because when we protect them, then we can protect everybody else. 
This is hilarious. Aisha Sadiqa, a UN advisor, has been quoted as saying the white man has brought life as we know it to the verge of extinction. Often promotes radical leftist beliefs like abolish the police, always promotes socialist ideals and constantly shares Marxist themed and anti-capitalist content while repeatedly denigrating white people. Also born in Pakistan and moved to America, number one capitalist country in the world, even though she hates capitalism. But she moved there for a better life and then goes on to basically say how bad capitalism is. Pretty weird. And to top it off, in 2023, despite all her racist comments, was actually named Time Magazine's Woman of the Year. I'm surprised that this is even allowed on YouTube. I wonder if you if you replace the word white with black, what would the outcome be? Do you think she'd be removed from YouTube then? Do you think she would have won Time Magazine's Woman of the Year? I mean, it doesn't make any sense as well. What? So t in order to stop climate change from getting any worse, you need to, you need to protect black trans trans women. That doesn't make no sense, does it? Obviously an agenda, and that just proves it even more. Let me know what you think down below. When Leah Thomas gets on the block, when they're about to start a race, how does the audience react to this? Uh, as you can imagine, right? Like, there was a lot of silence. Uh, a lot of people didn't really know what to do. There wasn't a lot of clapping. There was a lot of like protesters and like trans rights activists who were there, who were being yeah. loud and the posters and blah, blah, blah. Uh, lots of booing. Uh, Kelly J. Keene was there, who is a phenomenal women's rights activist out of England, and she was there, and, and she, I'll never forget, I'm standing on the pool deck, and at this point in time, like, of course, me and all my teammates and my coaches, we all knew this was wrong, but it's still, I didn't know how to talk about it or what to say or what outlet to go to, and I remember hearing her from the stands um, and she just said something that we were all thinking and she yelled so loud, he's a cheater. And I was like, oh my gosh, I needed to hear that. When you think about it, this is the definition of misogyny, isn't it? You're taking away a woman's sport from them, basically. On what planet does anybody think that giving a man a medal or a trophy for beating a woman is actually okay? <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Anyway, I've got a solution. So what they need to do, all the women just stand on their blocks when the race starts and let the man race himself as a protest. I think it's Hondurans, Mexicans, Nicaraguans, El Salvadorians, Panamanians, Venezuelans, Chileans, they should all go home. Oh, really? If they're here illegally, yes. But like I said before, these people have been devastated by it. In the past, these countries are poor. I, I don't care. Been... Go really? fix your own country. Don't come to our How? country. How? Because we that up in the first place. Hold, hold on a second. How do we screw up El Salvador? No, no, tell me, how did we screw up El Salvador? Can anyone tell me? The drug war. Oh, the drug war is our fault? No, the drug war was the I mean, cartels the CIA, the of CIA. native Boran gangs that transformed themselves into violent groups in El Salvador in the western part of Mexico, and somehow that's America's fault? So, I mean, the CIA and it's the did cartel. facilitate. Hold on, it's the cartel that is the ones that are trafficking the people into this country, and they're working right now at the southern border, 15,000 people a day. I'm not going to all of a sudden be like, you know what? I feel so sorry for the person that from Venezuela that came all the way here, broke the law, illegally domiciled themselves. Like, no, go back to Caracas and make Caracas great again. A lot of women are actually war heroes just as much as men are. That's why we lose all the war. I wouldn't go there. Where? <laughs> I'm okay with them going in to cook I mm. so and you know, that kind of stuff. In Medicare but, and do and be right, nurses and stuff. Right, but not to be at war with the man, you know. I look at that as like toxic masculinity where you feel like only men have to be the ones fighting wars. Right. Women are just as capable of holding a gun, shooting a gun, You can fighting shoot a monkey to hold a gun, but you know what I'm saying? I just feel like... Am I right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so you can teach a monkey to hold a gun, but the monkey's not going to be good. Ask the man. I think men and women are equal. What's Play equal about men and women? The fact that they're just as capable as getting an education, they're just as capable as obtaining a degree. A monkey can get an education. A monkey can't get a degree because monkeys yes, aren't allowed monkey, in school. I know many monkeys with degrees. <laughs> Okay, no one's saying women aren't capable. Like, we have to just be real. In some situations, a man is better for the job. Now, imagine you're a 240 pound man lying down and you've been shot on the front line. And then you've got a five foot three woman, 120 pounds, who says, oh, sorry, I don't have enough girl power to carry you to safety. So there you go, enough of the bullshit.